Stanja Balisco here uh, to elaborate a little bit on some of the material that you will find in my book Teach Yourself Electricity in Electronics, sixth edition, published by McGraw Hill, co authored with Simon Monk. Copyright date is 2016. In this particular book and other editions of the book, you'll find quite a lot of material about impedances and particularly complex number impedances. A lot of people are very confused by complex numbers. Uh, they don't understand how can you have the square root of a negative number and, and right off the bat they're confused. Complex numbers are used to define reactances as opposed to resistances and all of that is covered in chapters 13 through 16 of this book, this particular edition of the book. Other editions have the material as well, but the chapter numbers may be different. Uh, there's quite a lot explained about complex numbers, but it never really tells you why use them in the first place. Why bother with all of this? And the reason why is quite simple. Complex numbers do an excellent job of explaining mathematically and quantitatively how reactances, that is inductors and capacitors, behave with respect to alternating current and in circuits containing both resistance, pure DC resistance, and AC reactants. Uh, the mathematics just works. It just happens to be a very good mathematical system to use because it explains everything so well. Okay, fine. What about complex numbers? How do they work? Uh, it, it, the book doesn't explain a whole lot about that. It explains a little bit, just enough hopefully so you'll understand the basics. But if you want more depth uh, about complex numbers, I would recommend that you look at the playlist in my repertoire of videos on this uh, YouTube channel, the playlist entitled Complex Number Primer. It has several videos in which I explain from the ground up, earth ground, you know, the, the kind that you drive the copper into as opposed to electrical ground. Well, a good earth and electrical ground, both. All the way from there up, it explains in considerable detail how this mathematical system of numbers works. So if you really want to get complex numbers into your brain and understand how they function, how they work, and then tackle chapters uh, 13 through 17, in this book. You'll have one up on everybody else. You'll have a solid background in how complex numbers work, what they are and what they can do, and they can do a lot more than just describe reactances. In particular, they can drive mathematics students absolutely nuts. <laughs> As you can plainly see, having once been a mathematics student, uh, but I was a nut before that, too. But, but really, if you want to understand complex numbers, if you're curious just about them, and, and they are very interesting for a mathematically-minded person, visit my playlist entitled Complex Number Primer on this YouTube channel. Stangibalisco signing off. And buy the book, too. Teach yourself electricity and electronics, sixth edition. So long.